I have to tell the story of Juzo Itami and his the end of his life because it is nuts. Yeah, and I don't know it, so I'm interested to hear. Okay, so first of all, he was an actor before he was a director. He didn't start directing movies until he was 50, and then he became the oh, top wow. director in Japan for a while. They wow. were calling him the next Kurosawa, which is just crazy. That's Yeah, that's not nothing. He made a movie called Mimbo, The Subtle Art of Japanese Extortion, which was a takedown of the Yakuza, and they attacked him. They slashed his face and tortured him, and he wound up in the hospital. And then sometime later, he jumps off a building and commits suicide and leaves a note that said that he was doing it because he was humiliated because news of an affair that he'd been having was about to become public. And then news of that affair did become public. But 10 years after that, a Yakuza boss admitted to an American journalist that he had killed him, that he had said, you either jump off this building or I shoot you in the face. You might survive if you jump. You won't survive if I shoot you. And he jumped. And he did not survive. That was what the Yakuza gang leader had said to this American journalist. 